안녕하세요. 윤쌤입니다. Hi, I'm Yun Sam from e v i d o So last episode we learned about consonants, and in the previous episode, and we learned a vowel. So we learn vowels and consonants together. So now, today we will learn about uh, how to form a character of Korean. <laughs> Let's see. For example, g, g, and then we write ah sound, right? Then this goes with the ah sound. But apparently, there's some of them and going this way, and right at the bottom. How is it even possible? Why some of them going on the right, some of them going on the right, or on the bottom, right? That's very weird. And there's rules for you to follow. Okay, so these are something that I'm gonna teach you today. All right, as you can see, some of the example over here. Koreans are basically, you know, put it in the on the box, square box, square box, square box, square box. And then you can see some of them are consonant and vowel, and some of them are consonant and vowel. And some little bit complicated vowels coming in the right, right in here, and here like this. Okay, you can see some vowels on the right hand side, some vowels coming on the bottom side, and some a bottom and the right. Actually, it's the same one vowel, but it just covers up, you know, bottom and the right hand both hand side. So, how do you know which one goes on the right, which one goes on the bottom, and which one goes on the bottom and the right? So that's very easy for you to validate. Ah, ah, yeah, oh, yo. Oh, okay, all these things. There are a few more other things, but I'm not gonna write down all of it. You know why? Because there's a reason. There's a there's a way for you to validate anything that's struck from top to and the bottom. Struck that you need to write from the top to bottom that goes on the right hand side. Easy, right? And any stroke that you need to write u u o u u all these things you need to write from the left. And the right, coming from the left to the right. All right, but you need you need to go parallel way that goes at the bottom. All right, the rest of them are coming on the right, uh, right in the bottom. So example, wa, wo, we, we. Ah, well, I think there could be more than this, but I'm not gonna list down all of it. But as long as you see that the bottom and the right, so you have a combination of the parallel, combination of vertical coming from the top to the bottom, left to the right. Then comes on the bottom and the right. That's how you form a character. For example, I would write ah, u, and then that goes with a little complicated we. Can you see that? Can you see the differences? Oh, anything from the bottom, vertical from the top to bottom, then comes on the right hand side. A uh, parallel from the left to the right, or right to the left, that goes in the bottom side. Either either both of the combination combinations coming, and here and here. So that's why how you can validate or where the vowel is supposed to be, and you can form a character. And there's one more thing that I need to cover up. In fact, there's something called final consonant, final consonant, and final consonant. So there's a consonant over there, but you can put final consonant uh, at the bottom, so you can change a little bit of pronunciations. So because of this consonant, I'm just giving another name for a final consonant. We call it pachim in Korean. For now, it's just a final consonant until you familiarize with the name. Of that patim, there you go, patim. This is how you write patim. Right? How does it go? As you can see, as you know the vowel I and mean, consonant sound, actually you can put all the consonants at the bottom, but but not all of it, but yes, many of them. For example, like this. Without uh, this part, it was ah, right? By adding a d sound, which we know as an n, similar to very n sound, which is ah, starting with ah, and ending with n. An, an. So basically, you can see that ah. Uh, let's say the was the this top part is ah. Uh, maybe just put it this way. And adding an uh, n sound over here. An, an. That's why we call it pachim, and they change the sound of it. That's how you form a character of Korean. Of course, ah uh, and ah uh, an are different characters, and it means something different as well. It depends on the words and vocabularies. Can you get that? All right. So now you have understood all the Korean characters, how it looks like, how it's supposed to be, how you write, how you're recognizing it, and now you can pronounce it differently. For example, I will give you one last sentence. An, nio, and here. Ng. Uh, uh, although this was at an empty sound metaphor for a uh, main consonant, but when it comes to final consonant, it becomes 
ng sound. So it become an nyong. An nyong. An nyong. That's why we call it an nyong and an nyong aseo comes from. All right, that's it for today's session. Hope you remember how you can write the characters and remember uh, how to recognize the characters and read it. Good. Now you can read Korean characters. Thank you very much. Bye. <laughs>